Hi, Jochen Schleffel, Inner Space Explorers. I've been asked so many times to talk about children and diving. And um, I basically wanted to avoid that. So it's one of these videos that are very, very controversial and um, all the haters will love it. But okay. Um, Let's go through the questions. The first one was always what, in general, I think about uh, children diving. And I think there's no yes or no, there's no wrong or right. It depends. So I think most, most of the people asked me when they saw pictures from me and my sons. And uh, then they wanted to know what, what I recommend. So it depends on the child. How far is it in its development? How mature is it? Um, can it take over certain responsibility for itself? Can you explain certain topics like proper equalization, um, overpressure issues like you cannot rush to the surface, which um, at a certain age is simply not possible. And then it's all about the motivation of why do children dive. I see a lot of parents that want their children to dive because they want to create some new dive bodies. And that, in my opinion, is the biggest issue because a child can never be a full-blown dive partner. It's simply not possible. So if that's the motivation behind, I think it's very, very, very questionable because obviously a child or a teenager, I think up to the age of 14, 15, 16, again, depending on, on the person, cannot take over responsibility of somebody else's life. So when you dive with a child, you always have to, you basically dive alone, plus you have the responsibility. So I think it's always clever to dive in a team, two adults plus a child. If the child itself wants to dive because it grows up in an environment like that, like our kids do, obviously, I mean, they've been playing in between dive gear before they could walk. So it was kind of a natural thing for them um, to touch these things, to ask, what is this? What is it for? I mean, they see me going in the water. They see their mother go in the water. All our friends, they spend days at the lake with us. They are on the boat all of this so it was kind of a natural process like hey I want to do this so when they when they started to swim they became good swimmers um, they started to free dive and um, and then obviously it was a logical step to to touch scuba gear which brings us to the next question um, what age is good to start again it depends I mean um, my kids are five, they turn six in May, so I would not send them out diving right now. But it's a great age to start playing around with it. I mean, get used to the equipment and, and familiarize. And um, so when they started free diving last summer, on their own basically so we, we were actually on the boat and there's a wreck in 12 13 meters of water in the mediterranean i was scuba diving there doing some pictures and suddenly i saw my sons coming down and they touched the wreck in four and a half five meters of water and i was like wow and it was not forced from myself they wanted to do it so we're snorkeling and then they started to descend and all of this and still we carefully start now which means they they start playing around with scuba in one, one and a half meters of water in a pool, or if we are somewhere where it's warm in warm water, in a very, very stable and safe environment. Um, so there are kids that, that probably can do it in that age. Other people, uh, other kids should be seven, eight. Again, it depends on how far they are. And then of course, it's a big difference who is the person that takes them underwater? I mean, <laughs> if daddy has 20 dives and is open water certified, it's probably the wrong person to take the kids diving. If it's a very experienced instructor, it's a different story. And then again, how good can you transmit um, knowledge to your kids? A lot of times 
it's it's hard for the parents. So um, I've seen it when my when my kids started to uh, to play an instrument that I play guitar. I could not teach them. It was simply not possible. They were just joking around and this and that. It just didn't work. So as soon as we moved them to somebody else, to a professional, it's a different story. They listen. So probably if it comes to the point where they take proper scuba training, I would not teach them. I would take them to a friend of mine that I trust because it's a, it's a different way of, a different form of respect and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, somebody who's kicking ass probably much more than I would do on my own kids. Um, the other thing is how deep can kids dive? There's tons of ideas and rules and this and that. Recently, somebody told me like the, the, age, the, the age in years in meters, so like a five-year-old can dive five meters and eight-year-old can dive eight meters. I personally think it's too deep. <clears throat> um, the younger they are, the less deep you want them. I mean, a five-year-old should not dive. He can play around with scuba gear like my kids do, one, one and a half meters in a pool. I mean, even if we're somewhere in Italy, um, I mean, in a shallow bay somewhere, you have seahorses, you have seagrass, you have fish. I mean, everything that you can also discover snorkeling, ah, you can discover now with a scuba regulator in your mouth, but right beneath the surface. And it gives you all the adventure it gives you all the cool things to, to watch at, uh, to watch, and um, it's perfect. I mean, a seven, eight year old, which is already a complete different league, um, of course can dive a little bit deeper, but I would still limit it to like five meters or so. I mean, nobody really knows. There's no real medical studies on the topic, so we cannot say okay, that's the borderline. If you go deeper, you have nitrogen bubbles, this and that. We simply don't know, so why take any risk? Stay shallow. Um, another thing, actually, when we talk about medical things is the fins. Um, a lot of doctors say it is a problem for the joints if they use fins for, an, for a long time, if they kick hard, if it's hard fins. So make sure your kids... When they use fins, they use soft fins, they use proper fitting ones, and they don't use them for an extensive time. Which brings us to the topic of gear. What gear would you want to use? Make sure it fits. Obviously, as it's a very small market, not a lot of manufacturers produce um, dive gear for children. There's the Scuba Bro, I think Rebel line it's called, which is great. There's a couple of other brands out there that have uh, kids gear. So suits are usually easy to get. Um, there's tons of proper masks out there, but it starts to become an issue when we talk jackets or, or harnesses and it is always an issue with the regulators. So make sure you find something that really fits. It's, it's terrible and I see it a lot of times that you see small children with, um, with adult um, gear that doesn't fit and that first of all takes out all the comfort and obviously it's dangerous. I mean if, if, if a child with a too big harness in the tank and it slides out of the tank all this nonsense that doesn't work. Get proper gear if you want your child in the water. Take a small tank, a four liter, a five liter. I always say if it can lift it comfortably it's good to use it. If it cannot or it's struggling I mean the, the bones are not completely hard yet, the joints are not perfect yet. Don't overdo this and don't force them. If they don't want to, leave them. My kids told me that diving is bullshit till they were like four and a half. They just didn't want it. I was, I was like, I don't need you to dive. Do something else. No problem at all. And that's the, that's the thing. I mean, even if they would never ever want to dive, it's fine for me. I don't need my kids to dive. So when they started to like, hey, cool, we want to try this, obviously I was happy because it's my life. And if they want to join me in that, I mean, it's nothing cooler than if I, in a couple of years I can dive with my entire family, but it's up to them. So never force them into this. Um, back to the equipment. So you get a proper BCD, whatever. Um, forget all this DRR thing in, in, in regarding to children. I mean, they don't need a backplate and a wing. I mean, if you find something scaled down nice properly, awesome. They need something that fits them. 
The same thing goes for regulator in hoses. Find a nice small regulator. You don't want to want to force your kid to use a regulator with a, with a Poseidon mouse piece, because as soon as they cannot comfortably comfortably take it in their mouse, there's always a risk that they don't get it in or they get a lot of water, which again you don't want. So find a proper nice mouthpiece. There are some on the market and a small regulator. There was something from Maris. I cannot remember the name. It was really tiny. With a nice mouthpiece makes a perfect kid's regulator. Same thing goes for hoses. A kid doesn't need an octopus or a, or a second regulator. It doesn't need a long hose and a bungee and this and that. It needs a short hose and one regulator because you don't want your kid to donate gas, gas or something like that. It's just about them and the gear to get comfortable. So the, the, the setups of my kids is a 5 liter tank in a BCD, one first stage, one SPG, one second stage and an inflator hose, that's it. Short hoses, no entanglement, no stress on the second stage because of a too long hose or something like that. That's so all scaled down and as easy as possible. Anything else? Don't think so. So if you have questions, if you have comments, please check out the Patreon site. That's where we discuss in depth on a personal level. Otherwise, I'm happy about your comments. If you like it, give us thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you next Friday. Bye-bye.